Well, hi, it's Jerry with I Love RV Life. It is time to do maintenance on the fifth wheel. We've been running on some pretty rough roads. Let me show you what we've got to do before we leave in a couple weeks. Well, hi, it's Jerry, and it's time to do maintenance on the RV. I've put this off as long as I could, hoping that it would warm up a little bit. Chilly day here in middle Georgia, a little windy, but uh, Joan and I are going to be leaving in a couple weeks. And as, as I showed you in our 3,000 mile trip video, I'll put that link up here. Uh, we did some damage to the, uh, the suspension system of the fifth wheel. The rough roads just beat it to death and we broke, some, we broke some leaf spring hangers. So it's that time. We're getting ready to leave here in a couple weeks. It's time to get the job done. Come with me and I'll show you what this task is going to take. This is going to be a big one. Well, I'll show you what we're going to be replacing. This is, a, this is what they call a leaf spring hanger. Uh, you'll see the size we're getting. These are substantially thicker than what we're going to be taking off. I should probably replace them all. I probably will do that later on this summer when it warms up a bit and, and we'll do them all. But we're just trying to get on the road right now and I'm going to replace this one. We got this from e-trailer. Sorry, it's upside down. You know, some things you can get off Amazon. And um, some of these specialty items, you're just going to have to go to a good quality supplier. And Paula uh, was who I spoke to at e-trailer. She was just absolutely superb guiding me through getting these things but this is not that um, Chinese garbage I think that's on the camper now. You can see just how violent that that uh, shear was. Here's the pieces that broke off. You can see they just literally snapped off on both sides. That was not a weld. Those were actually um, welded uh, as, as one piece and it snapped right at the weld on both sides and you can see it, it bent them. And not only that, our stabilizer that keeps this thing lined up is bent. And I don't know if you can quite make it out but even the uh, bolt is, is bent. Uh, testimony that the, 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 the gateway uh, still got us home, but oh man, that was, uh, that was, that was quite a shock. Uh, but we're gonna make it as good as new. I'm gonna have to replace that bolt cause it's bent and I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna put the, uh, the wet bolts in anyway. So um, I'm not that you know, broken hearted about this bolt being bent.
it's done. Well, I didn't show you putting the wheels on and finishing everything up because there's a good reason. Um, it got dark. <laughs> I was doing this into the night last night. Uh, but you can see, there it is. There's that new hanger. I am glad it's done. Um, this ended up being quite a job. Look, I'll be a realist here. I know that many of you who watch this channel do not have a shop uh, like we have here at home with welders and grinders and the tools to do this type of a job. But I did want to show you literally the amount of labor and effort that it takes to be able to do something like this. Um, you know, it was not, uh, you know, removing the wheel and taking the bolts out. That probably took an hour. Even putting it all back on probably took an hour. It took about three plus hours to grind that old bracket off. And the reason it took so much time was I didn't want to set fire to my camper. Uh, lots of sparks flying. I had to take a lot of extra precautions to be able to do that. A lot of hammering, a lot of chiseling. You see that in the video. And it was time consuming. Uh, it was physically demanding and it was aggravating. So as you're looking at doing something like this, if you have a shop and you're able to do it, um, take those extra precautions not to uh, not to set your camper on fire. And if you take this to uh, you know an RV suspension um, uh, repair facility or something like that, somebody that it does axle or trailer repairs or things like that, understand the parts. You know, it was a, a $10 bolt and a $10 hanger to get this fixed. $10, 20 bucks total, including shipping. But you're gonna pay a lot of labor. This is quite a taxing uh, effort, but it's done. And I'm so glad I've been putting this off for weeks and weeks and weeks. I didn't wanna tackle it. It's done. And now in about two weeks, Jonah hit and I are heading out on the road and we've got a lot of fun stops and fun places to go. Look, even when we break the camper and even when we have to fix it, it doesn't matter. We still love RV life. Mm -hmm.